the fact that someone's profiting off my sick kids and the process was just so heartless. The last thing I expected was to get a $2.5 million bill, which is the, it's just an offensive amount of money. Kingsley Rasp's eight-month-old baby Sterling, who had a congenital heart defect and other disorders, died last year. Like more than 300,000 U.S. families each year, their infant required advanced medical attention in the newborn intensive care unit, quickly generating astronomical fees for highly specialized surgeries and round-the-clock care. My daughter was super rare. She went from chronically sick to like very chronically sick. So I think this is her entire life for medical bills. She was just sick. Sterling had been denied Medicaid, which is available to children with complex medical problems in some states. And then someone was saying, get divorced, or so you'll be able to claim for Medicaid. So I've got a green card, I can't just get divorced. See, I'm British, so we met on Tinder. And then we got married uh, a year later. Ultimately, Kingsley's insurer revised the bill and said it was a mistake. My, my daughter passed away. I came out of this, not unscathed, but not in financial ruin. The same can't be said for every family. You know, I went through the worst thing imaginable, and I'm considering myself lucky. What kind of weird, messed up logic is that, you know? <laughs>